Greetings, dear viewers of The Pioneer. How are you doing? As always, I hope you're hopefully and well. As The Pioneer team, we are back with a new map report. In a moment, we will evaluate the latest developments on the front line with a map. If you make a general comment about the front line, we can say that the front line is largely stable. There is not much change of dominance areas. The current situation is advantageous for Ukraine, and it is disadvantageous for the Russian army. The Ukrainian army is already in a defense position. Although the Russian army is in the offensive position, it cannot make new gains. The situation on the Donetsk front line is slightly different. The counter conflicts here are increasing in intensity day by day. However, despite the strong artillery support and bombardment, we see that the Russian army has not yet achieved the desired success. Moreover, the losses of the Russian army on the Donetsk front line have increased considerably. The longer the Ukrainian resistance can hold on on the front line, the better. So, what is the latest situation on the front line? Let's take a look at developments together. As the Pioneer team, we continue to bring the Russia-Ukraine war to our screens. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so as not to miss our daily map reports and reports on the agenda. You can also support me and my hard-working team by using the super thanks button below the video. Let's start if you are ready, the Pioneer reports. Today, the Kherson front line was a bit more active than the past days. Let's start with the latest situation on the Kherson front line. Let's see the area on the map. According to reports on the Kherson front line, units of the Russian armed forces have increased their pressure on Krimki, where Ukrainian marines are located. The counterattacks are continuing quite fiercely. However, there are no developments to change the situation here. And the reason is obvious. Russian firepower in the area is insufficient. In addition, Russian troops in the region have been worn out in the long-standing clashes. Therefore, they cannot get results. The Ukrainian army, on the other hand, has launched a new wave of attacks here. According to reports, Ukrainian armed forces attempted an attack on the Russian troops in the direction of Pechenivka. We can consider this attempt as a pulse measurement. The units of the Russian armed forces managed to hold their positions during these attacks by the Ukrainian army. However, as we mentioned, this attack was a pulse measuring attack. It seems that the Ukrainian army carried out this attack in order to obtain information about the situation of the Russian troops in the area. The demarcation line is fixed along the Kherson front line. Let us continue with the artillery activity in the area. According to the latest reports, artillery units of the Russian armed forces targeted the Ukrainian positions in the directions of Kherson, Bereslivlav, Antonivka, and Kurinki. In turn, artillery units of the Ukrainian armed forces targeted positions of the Russian armed forces in Pechenivka, Pidlinsny, Cossack camps, and Oleshki. Now let's continue our report by analyzing the latest developments in the robotin sector of the Zaprizhia front line. According to the latest reports in the robotin sector of the Zaprizhia front line, the pressure of the Russian armed forces on the western part of the town of Robotin continues. However, there is no results. Ukrainian troops in the area continue to hold on their positions. On the other hand, counter conflicts in the Verbov direction have gained momentum. In this area, Russian troops are carrying out intensive attacks to force Ukrainian troops to retreat. The Ukrainian presence here is a very serious threat to the Russian armed forces in the long term. They for the attach importance to attack here. However, despite all the efforts, Ukrainian troops in the Verbov direction continue to hold their positions. Let's continue with the artillery activity in the region. According to the latest reports, artillery units of the Russian armed forces targeted Robotin, Novodanilivka, Malatokmakta, Orikhiv, and Novoandrivka. In contrast, artillery units of the Ukrainian armed forces targeted Novoprokopivka, Ichenkov, Solotkabalka, Pochininki, and Verbov. Let us also briefly mention the Voholder sector of the Zaprizhia front line. We have been stating this for some time. Here, Russian troops have been carrying out attacks for a long time to capture Sormoyorsk and Yorhein. These attacks continued today. However, there were no gains for the Russian armed forces. The main Ukrainian defense line in the region is well fortified. Therefore, Russian troops cannot make progress here either. 
we can say that the border line is stable along the Zaporizhia front line. Let's look at the Donetsk front line. According to the latest reports, the Russian armed forces continued an intensive shelling on the Donetsk front line. According to the reports, after the shelling, units of the Russian armed forces continued to attack Novomikhailivka from the south and tried to advance towards the southwest. The situation here is almost deadlocked. Despite all their efforts, the Russian troops have not been able to achieve enough successes to change the fate of the war. On the other hand, we see similar actions taking place on the western approaches to the town of Krasnohorivka. However, there is no success here either. The activities of the Ukrainian artillery in this area is of a critical importance. In particular, the most important reason for the lack of success of the Russian offensive is the defensive operations carried out by the Ukrainian artillery units. In addition, the Russian armed forces carried out a series of offensive operations in Gorogorivka, Novolsky, Permovskoe, Severnoe. The fortified area itself, supported by the Ukrainian army with long-range weapons, is under pressure from the Russian army from the southeast and the northeast. A similar situation exists in Novobakhmutovka, which is under the control of the Ukrainian armed forces. So far, however, these pressures have not yielded any results. The Ukrainian armed forces continue to maintain their territorial control to a large extent. Let's continue with the artillery activity in the region. According to the latest reports, artillery units of the Russian armed forces targeted positions of the Ukrainian armed forces in Pobeda and Orechetin. In turn, artillery units of the armed forces of Ukraine targeted units of the Russian armed forces stations in Vodiatny and the village of Krasnohorivka. Now let's look at the Bakhmut and the Luhansk front line in turn. According to reports, on the Bakhmut front line, units of the Russian armed forces continued their pressure on the dominant hills around Klishchivka. Especially in this area, we see that intense counter clashes continue to take place. Despite all the efforts, the Russian army has still not been able to capture these dominant hills. The Ukrainian army continues to use these hills for tactical defense against the attacks of the Russian army. On the Luhansk front line, we see that routine counter clashes continue to take place. Although the Russian army is trying to create a mobilization here, no significant situation has been observed so far. According to reports, Russian forces organized offensive operations near Terini, Makayivka, and Sinkiivka. However, units of the Ukrainian armed forces continue to hold on their positions in these areas. Now tell me what do you think? What do you think about the defense performance of the Ukrainian army? Do you think that the Ukrainian army will launch a new wave of offensive operations on the Kherson front line? What is your opinion on the current situation on the Donetsk front line? Let me know in the comments. I read and care about all your comments.